Ciao, ciao, and welcome to episode seven. Thanks for joining, and let me know your first impression. This week, we're talking about graduation and the unexpected life that comes after it, because a few weeks ago, my sweet, hilarious younger brother graduated from high school, and it's got me reminiscing hard. When I graduated high school in 2006, my brother wasn't quite two years old. I do remember clear as crystal holding Johnny in my arms and wondering what kind of a person he was gonna be like when he was wearing this cap and gown. What would his humor be? What would his interests be? Would he think I was cool, lame, both? I also remember wondering what I would be like all those years later. Would I have a family? That was hard to picture. Would I live in New York City? No, thank God. Would I be successful? Well, of course. And even better, I would redefine for myself along the way what success looked like. Whether you're continuing your education, taking a gap year, or going on an adventure, here's my wholehearted, unsolicited advice from a professional ex-professional. Number one, listen to your gut. I was not the most inspired student. As senior year approached, I was mostly assuming I'd go to the state school. But then my grandfather died, and it sounds so very corny, but the honest truth was that when he died, I could not stop thinking about Italy. It was all I wanted to do to experience that country for him. And so I started the search for any English-speaking American accredited universities in Italy, and I applied. And I got in. I left for Italy in 2006. I came back to the States in 2010. What I did with my education and experience after Italy was all intention and decision, but what got me there was all gut and loans, lots of student loans. The point is, is that my plan originated from a really practical place, familial history and self-identity. Number two, allow yourself flexibility. Easier said than done at that age. Here's the thing. In my book, a plan can go a lot of different ways and still be successful. Half of us don't know what we want to do when we're fucking 30, let alone when we're 18 years old. Whether it's community college, a gap year, part-time work, an adventure abroad, any plan is a plan you should be proud of. When I left for college, I thought I wanted to study religious and international relations. That is clearly not the path I ended up on. I got to Rome, I got to university, I started the classes, and after one or two semesters, it was really clear to me that that subject matter just didn't click. Then I found film history, graphic design, editing, my love for tech and my love for storytelling, plus my love for creative control all combined in one. It's okay if your interests change, your major changes. Nothing that happens during this life transition is the end of the world, despite what it might feel like. None of the mistakes that you make during this time will define you. Number three, get out of your comfort zone. This doesn't have to be as drastic as moving to Italy. My parents always said I like to go big. Getting out of your comfort zone can be deciding to live with a roommate, doing your own grocery shopping. Maybe it's applying to your first part-time job or learning the public transit. Of course, if you are feeling like going big, I do highly recommend my alma mater, the American University of Rome. You'll have the adventure and academically toughest time of your life, but your career will thank you for it. All right, that's all my advice from this ex-Disney, ex-NBC Universal corporate climber turned stay-at-home mommy making weird video diaries for her daughter. I hope when it's Carmela's time to consider all these life paths that I'm able to take my own advice and support whatever her dream may be, even if that's an ocean away like mom and dad did for me. Click back through my last videos to watch me growing up in a cult, having a daughter, etc. Thanks for joining and bye-bye.